Okay, so here's my poppy patch, most of it this year. Um, what I'm doing here is going to be making tincture out of the poppies, mostly, and ointment as well. To get the full benefits of the poppy, I uh, cut them and let them bleed out like this. And then you can do this a few times. Some people will scrape that for whatever medicinal reasons or possibly getting high reasons. However, I take it, clip it from there. I clip it down here and it'll grow a new one, a new flower for me after this one. And I take these and I put them into a jar and I cover them with vodka. And then you've got tincture for any kind of shock, like say you're in a car accident or somebody somehow was in some kind of shock that, that creates a post-traumatic stress disorder type of stuff going on. You may want to have some of this. Um, any kind of injuries that your brain has or that you're, you know, on the outside too, depending on what one might need the opium poppy for, but it's always nice to have some of it in stock and keep a little bit around, like even for accidents with animals, you know, dog fight, cat fight, someone's injured, whatever. Okay, Papa Vera Poppy. I found by making them bleed out their white opium uh, latex stuff, then it turns to this black stuff that, like I say, some will scrape that off and keep it in a jar and use it like a tar type of heroin base or some down thing. Ooh, look at this one, it's quite leaking all the way down the stem like that. So I'm going to give these a few more cuts, take off. I use the petals as well. I um, put them in oils for infusions. Let them dry. You can use them for different things. I even drink them as tea. I've smoked the leaves just to see. They were all right. Not really a favorite, but hey, um, worth was, it was worth trying. Okay, so I gotta get to work on this little patch here. So what I'm gonna do is I go around and I check the petals and if they, they only last a few days, uh, the flower process and then they fall off. So instead of having them fall off and I have to pick them up off the ground, most people will just leave them, but I like to use them. So I check if it comes off by just simply pulling, then it goes into the basket. See? Okay, there's two. Some of them won't. See, that's not ready. That's not ready. Oh, that one's totally ready. Oh, well, there we go again. So, now that I've got a few exposed before I get confused, I like to, uh, like, without doing them all, and then just, they say to tap, which I think it does help. Just tap the top of them. Oh. And uh, then you get a knife and cut them. And I can't record and cut a knife or some kind of special tool if you desire. I just, there's another one. See, and if they're, like I say, if they're not ready, just by, you don't have to tug, you just simply... Bam. This one here, I'll do this one, it won't be ready. <laughs> okay, so I'll push pause and then cut a couple and show you from there. Okay, so I've done a few. And as you can see, the white, the white um, juice, the opium, the latex, what have you, 
is gushing out of them. Not all of them, you see. Um, this one here, I think it's ready to be plucked today because when I gave a fl fresh slice there, um, there's no, there's no more juice wanting to come out of her today. So that's how I decide whether she's going into the jar today or, or whether it stays out here to leak and cry some more. See? Okay, um, I don't use any kind of special knife. I just find something that's serrated. The shittiest serrated that you got will even work, but it'd be nice to have something that was worthwhile working with at the same time. Um, let's see here. I like to kind of tap it, actually. I never did that in years that I've done this before, is tapping the top, but I can kind of almost tell where it's settled when I do the tap, but I actually have to touch it and tap it so I won't be able to... Okay. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it holding the phone and... or holding this device. Oh, no, I can't do her. Sorry. Okay, so there's that one that I was struggling with trying to cut and hold the phone. This one's done and ready to be taken out. I thought this one would have been done and ready to taken out, but has a little bit more juice left in her. Okay, and then these little guys... Sometimes I'll just pop them right off there like they are, and sometimes I'll give them a cut or two because you can still you can see. But this one here was off this little dude down here, and you can still see a lot of the, the goodness. Like if you got a wart or a sore, this stuff's great. Just like wild lettuce, it has the same, and dandelion has the same type of substance in there. Um, I've got the jar going on over here. Like that. So I'm just going to keep plucking away, but I'll cut this video out. Um, I didn't, I didn't really plan on doing a opium poppy video, but why not, hey? Okay, today's project. Well, it'll be, it'll be pretty steady with these poppies until they're done. Because the upkeep on them, like I say, little ones like this. But when I do cut them, I should just say quickly, uh, I cut them a lot in there. Because you get new ones wanting to come out. So you never really, they never really die until the end of the season. And then that's it. That's all she wrote. But you might as well get as much as you can coming for you because you can make different tinctures and ointments and all sorts of helpful products for yourself for the winter and for loved ones and such you never know when a plant friend will come in handy okay over and out over and out once again